If you're doing intermittent fasting, then you need to avoid all caloric intake for a certain period of time. You can't eat food, no juices, no desserts, no drinks, no snacks, Don't. nothing. Don't. You can't eat spanic food. It's not that bad, actually. Once your body enters into a fasted state, your body shifts into mild ketosis. This increases fat burning and reduces appetite, while at the same time preventing your body from catabolizing itself. We must so the longer you fast, the deeper into ketosis you go and the easier it gets. Well, starve then. There's not much difference in terms of hunger levels between having fasted for 48 hours versus 7 days. Because your body adapts to the absence of food quite quickly. Stupid fat honey. But still, there are some drinks and beverages you can consume while you're fasting that won't break the fast. In fact, these drinks can actually boost the effectiveness of your fast because they increase cellular detoxification, cleanse the gut and promote ketosis. If this is your first time here, then make sure you click the subscribe button and bell notification for more videos about how to enhance your body, mind and life. But let's get on with the good stuff. What can you drink while fasting? Number one, baking soda. You might be using baking soda for cooking, but it also has great health benefits. It helps with digestive issues. It relieves constipation and bloating. It kills parasites and bad bacteria. It reduces fatigue and muscle soreness. It neutralizes the acidity in the gut. It helps to balance pH levels in the body. You can consume a teaspoon of baking soda in your water to boost your physical performance and overall health. When you're fasting, it's important to keep your electrolytes and minerals in check because you tend to flush out a lot of the water. Baking soda consists of 100% sodium bicarbonate, which is great for getting some sodium while you're fasting. I got baking soda! But to be honest, it tastes quite bad and it can also be used to prevent hunger. After you drink it, you don't really want to be consuming anything else and you'll be happily to continue on with your fast. Whip it through the glass, Nick! And onward we go, number two, globrous salts. If you're doing fasting for health purposes and to promote cellular cleansing, then you can also consume globrous salt. It's commonly named as sodium sulfate decahydrate. That's deca as in 10 times the water molecules. In medicine, globrous salt is used as a mild laxative that triggers bowel movements. If you add 5 to 20 grams of globrous salt to your water, you can remove constipation, reduce bloating and clean the digestive tract. Any more than that can cause diarrhea and lead to dehydration because you're gonna go just, you know. Number three, herbal teas. Herbal teas taste great and they can be used to stave off hunger while fasting. However, they have other medicinal and detoxification benefits. Chamomile is known to calm and upset stomach and help with sleep. Peppermint improves digestion, reduces inflammation and muscle pain. Jasmine strengthens the immune system, prevents diabetes and lowers cholesterol. Green tea is considered the healthiest drink in the world after water. It has a lot of polyphenols which promote heart and brain health. The small amount of caffeine also boosts fat burning. Black tea is enriched with compounds that benefit heart, digestion and stress levels. There may be like 1 to 5 calories per cup of tea, but it's not enough to kick you out of the fastest state. However, don't brew teas with fruit, berries or other types of seasoning that have carbohydrates in them. Because that sugar will most likely stop the beneficial effects of autophagy. Number 4. Coffee. The easiest and most effective way of suppressing hunger while fasting is to drink coffee. Caffeine gives you a jolt of energy and increases your focus while boosting fat burning. Now that's fresh mountain grown coffee. For At the same time, coffee has other health benefits such as better blood sugar regulation, high polyphenol count and lowered risk of Alzheimer's disease. So it's an amazing enhancer for the mitochondria and your brain. This drink, I like it. Other. To not get kicked out of a fast state, you wanna be drinking black coffee. If you add a pinch of cinnamon or stevia, then you may accidentally kick yourself out of a fast state. But very small amounts like a few milligrams or something won't do you any harm either. Instant coffee mixers tend to also have added substances that will kick you out, so avoid those. Do consider the amount of caffeine you consume. You shouldn't drink any more than 2 to 4 cups of coffee a day because it leads to caffeine intolerance and higher cortisol levels. Stress can kick you out of ketosis, but it can also make you more catabolic while fasting. Decaf, however, is potentially unlimited, although there is some caffeine in it as well. Which brings me to the question, can you add butter to your coffee while you're fasting? This bulletproof coffee. It's true that pure fat like butter, coconut oil or MCT oil won't raise blood sugar and 
This keeps you in a semi-fast state. The fat won't cross the blood-brain barrier, which makes your mind think that it hasn't actually eaten anything. However, this will most likely block the effects of autophagy. Even as little as 50 calories will shift you into a fair state, and it's gonna stop the cells from self-digesting themselves. This is not necessarily a bad thing, because you'll be still staying in ketosis, but you won't gain the detoxification benefits of autophagy. Take out the papers and the trash. Here you have to think about why you're doing intermittent fasting. If you're doing it for weight loss purposes and adding butter or MC to your altered coffee can help you to go through your fast, then go for it. However, you have to remember that you need to still be in a caloric deficit to lose weight, and putting an entire stick of butter into your cup will give you at least a thousand calories. If you're doing intermittent fasting to cleanse your body from the toxic proteins and inflammation, then I would highly advise you to consume no calories at all and allow autophagy to do its work. Just do strict water fasting with these mineral waters and teas. Which brings me to another question, can you consume artificial sweeteners while fasting? The answer is... It depends. It depends on what type of sweetener you're using, why you're doing intermittent fasting for, and how your body individually reacts to the sweetener. A lot of sweeteners have carbs in them, like maltodextrin, dextrose, or sucralose. Avoid them completely. Natural sweeteners like stevia don't actually really raise insulin or blood sugar. However, However, you would still have to be aware about how you individually react to stevia. Although stevia doesn't have calories, it's 300 times sweeter than table sugar, and this can cause a placebo-like insulin response. Your taste buds get stimulated by the sweetness, and this will shift you into a fit state. Your mind is actually that powerful. If you want to be safe and sure, then I would avoid all sweeteners, because, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But if you do want to try them out, then go for it and experiment. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Number 6. Apple Cider Vinegar A great drink for fasting is apple cider vinegar because of its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory compounds. It's acidic, but it actually helps to balance your body's pH levels. There are practically no calories in apple cider vinegar, but it has other minerals such as potassium, some magnesium and iron. This is perfect for fasting because it allows you to keep your electrolytes in check. Apple cider vinegar kills off bad bacteria in your gut and it stays off hunger. It can be added to sparkling water to make a nice tasty beverage. To ensure that you're not gonna break autophagy, then I wouldn't add any more than 1 to 2 tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You can drink it during your fast, but it's also a great way to break your fast. In that case, add some squeezed lemon juice into the mix to promote the creation of good digestive enzymes. I wouldn't add lemon juice during your fast to avoid this placebo effect. You're on acid. And of course you can drink regular water, sparkling water and mineral water. The reason you wanna drink mineral water is to get the electrolytes while you're fasting. You can also add a pinch of sea salt or pink Himalayan rock salt to your water. Ionized rock salt will give you some iodine as well, which promotes thyroid functioning and prevents hypothyroidism, which is quite common with intermittent fasting. But overall you should be looking for this quick fix, some sort of an escape mechanism from fasting, is not that big of a deal. It's very beneficial for your body and your mind to go through some periods where you just consume a sim something as simple as just plain water. Somebody gave you really bad acid. My Keto IF program teaches you exactly what you need to do and how to combine intermittent fasting with a ketogenic diet. But thanks for watching, my name is Seem. Click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. Stay ionized, stay empowered. Another, another.